Hi, my name's Vince Sheehan and today I'd like to talk about Beethoven's first symphony in C major and I'd like to look in particular at the structure and the form of each of the four movements because I do believe that having a handle on that can really aid our appreciation and enjoyment of classical music. Now, Beethoven composed this between 1799 and early 1800 um, and it was dedicated to Baron von Swieten who is this kind of important figure in Viennese musical life at the end of the 18th century. And it was premiered in April 1800. And uh, in this work, we really find uh, Beethoven really stretching um, the symphonic form as he'd inherited it from uh, Haydn and Mozart. Of course, Beethoven studied briefly under Haydn, and you can get the sense that he's taken some of Haydn's tricks in his symphonies um, and but bringing them into his own work. Famously, this symphony opens with a series of uh, perfect cadences which are in the wrong key. And you know, you'd never, it'd be considered very odd to start a symphony on a, do, uh, a dominant seventh chord. Um, but uh, that's what Beethoven does here. And indeed, he starts uh, with um, the dominant seventh in the key of F, not in C, like we'd um, imagine. So here we go. And we finished in G. so on. So this um, symphony already from the very opening bars we're in the wrong key as such and it's a rather um, audacious start uh, to compose one's first symphony at this time. Eventually we get uh, this, the, the, the introduction's rather lengthy and eventually we do hit C major we've been long expecting it for the exposition of this sonata form movement. And the first subject goes like this. And so on. Rather uh, exuberant first subject. And I love this symphony, it's so full of life. I've got a real soft spot actually for the symphony. It's the first symphony I actually um, played in as an, in an orchestra, um, as a, in a youth orchestra, I remember playing the symphony. It's been a, a real favourite of mine ever since. Eventually we get to a transition where we have this rather um, heroic sounding theme. so on. And that transition, that kind of dialogue between strings and woodwind, um, takes us to the second subject in the dominant, which of course is G major. And we have this idea, more relaxed. And then we have this uh, new ideas, a few ideas in the second subject group, this idea as well. And so on. We have the first subject again, a, a quote of the first subject. And then eventually it takes us to the codetta, which goes like this. So on. That brings us to the end of the exposition. Um, then the development is based on the first subject. There's this rather almost pantomime uh, dr dramatic kind of uh, feel to this. Um, we have this idea. Um, so we start like the first subject.
and so on. And then that takes us through um, a variety of keys. Eventually, um, it takes us to the recapitulation, back to the first subject, um, which is fairly standard, transition, second subject, um, the codetta, and then we have a coda, just based on the first subject again. And then uh, we have this, uh, we have a, a kind of a, a rather rousing trumpet fanfare uh, in that coda as well. The second movement again is in sonata form and we have uh, we begin with the second violin to the first subject. It's almost fugal texture. We have uh, we begin with this idea in F major. Then the violas and cellos come in. And then we, um, the flutes and the firsts come in, which really begins a transition. Um, which eventually takes us to the second subject, which goes like this. Um, we have this more assertive idea. But then we have a codetta where we have these delightful triplets um, in, the, in the first violins, but also this dum, the dum, the dum, the dum, the rhythm in the timpani. Uh, it's like this. So And so on, and the, the trinkies go boom, 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 boom. Sometimes the exposition's repeated, and then we have the development, which begins um, with that first subject idea again, this time in C minor. to D flat major, um, quite a remove from the tonic key, of course, which is of the symphony, which is C major. But um, this is a feature of Beethoven in this symphony. Indeed, Beethoven generally, these kind of slides into uh, unrelated keys. So D flat major makes an appearance there. And we have that kind of codetta rhythm. Dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da. And we get to the, um, the recapitulation. And this time in the cellos, we've got this delightful accompaniment. It's a really charming um, uh, accompaniment. We have the transition with the whole orchestra. That, and that brings us to the second subject, which takes us, stays into the tonic, of course. Uh, we have the codetta with that timpani, and we have a coda uh, based on the first subject. Um, and that brings that delightful movement to an end. Then we come to the minuet, and really this isn't a minuet, this is a scherzo in all but name. Uh, it's a fast one in a bar three, um, and uh, this is the movement that excited Edward Elgar um, in his father's music shop. There's a story of him reading this score, the first symphony, looking at this and really inspiring him. Uh, he got so excited apparently looking at this music. Um, and it begins like this. Um, really great. And then we have another uh, kind of sliding key. And so on and so forth. Um, this actually movement is full of Beethoven sliding in and out of uh, expected and unexpected keys in this characteristic way. The trio is far more relaxed on the wind. And so on. Then we go back to that kind of breakneck uh, skirt, so that A section. 
Um, the finale, again, opens with a slow introduction, like the first movement. And uh, here's kind of Beethoven's having a bit of a joke, I think. And uh, we have this grand kind of uh, dramatic entrance on a G. And then the first violins have this kind of scalic passage, like they're scared to go all the way up the scale. It begins like this. Then we go into the first subject. Then we have the transition. And then that takes us to the second subject, um, which goes like this. So on. A lovely idea. We have this dramatic moment and then we reach the codetta. And then that takes us to the development. And uh, we begin like this based on the first subject. And then we B flat major. Really witty, charming, exciting music. And eventually we go back to the first subject, the, um, the second subject, um, and then we have the codetta and we have a coda, uh, which rounds off this uh, first symphony by Beethoven rather magnificently. And it's wonderful to think that this work um, would be the first of nine wonderful masterpieces. And look at the gulf between the first and the ninth in terms of musical development and uh, the way Beethoven took this uh, genre of the symphony and took it beyond all the boundaries uh, and really changed it into something quite different. But the first symphony is a wonderful work. I think it's so fresh and invigorating and uh, a really enjoyable listen. Thanks for watching and please uh, click like and subscribe if this is your kind of thing. Bye.